Nail Soup Media. We specialize in websites, web communities, and internet products. Okay, um, this is we're going to show you uh, some things that uh, you know just just give a little shed some light as far as uh, search engine optimization. Um, the people that worked at Pizza Hut four months ago that had a little luck with a uh, with you know um, you know uh, Phoenix, Arizona you know, real estate with houses with a red door got on page one, so they think they know SEO. Or the person that's been doing, uh, you know, old style websites for, you know, six years that uh, will tell you that pay-per-click's the way to go and that you really can't do search engine optimization. Those people um, have access to webmaster tools and they really don't know how to use it. And they think that if, as so long as Google doesn't send any warnings, that there's nothing wrong with what they're doing or what they're telling the client. So let me just show you a couple things. Um, this is a new client that uh, we've had for a while, and um, it's a thing where, uh, how do we say, um, they uh, they came to us from um, a at the point when they were knocked off the search engines, and they are, you know, uh, um, they had a few people in the pot, and and then they had someone for a while that was doing the Active Rain group, you know, SEO stuff. Okay, so so basically, you know, if you look um, site messages, there's no messages, right? They they've been clean for this whole time, and you you look at some of the uh, the, the stats, you know, um, and you see, you know, we we documented this before that. Um, that they, in another video, you'll find that they had a bunch of bogus links from uh, sites that um, shouldn't have been, and we petitioned to have them off, and now they're off, and we'll, we'll link the other video that so you can see how uh, the old style, you know, web company that really using gimmicks to uh, get fake search engine ranking, um, that uh, that you know, that's been caught by Google now, so that's the thing. But but you know, you look at at you know, you look at this uh, index status, you know, it's all indexed, looks good. You know, there's no, there's no other, there's no warnings in, in the, uh, you know, as far as the, you know, the, what, what's happening, right? So, so, you know, they, they've got, you know, the, all the different things, links to your site, you know, uh, we went through that, right? So everything's good, right? Well, well, this is a, um, a Google update analysis as far as what how the site's being effective because the client can't figure out why they're no longer on the first page of Google uh, and you know we took over and we're fixing all the things but but basically this just affected them and it's caused if you read the the update uh, it's caused by uh, stuff that they did in 2012 so so you know um, you know, and, and this this goes through all the different, you know, all the different uh, updates and how the site has been affected, and then you can read for details. So, so long story short, um, you know, uh, this is the real situation of what's happening out in the market, you know, with their site, and and then and this is, you know, uh, from Google Webmaster Tools, with no messages at any time. You know that, that there was anything that there's anything wrong, and and that's the thing. Google Webmaster Tools, they don't they don't tell you that they're that you're violating things. They they tell you of of, of specific errors, but not that oh your site was affected by a panda or a penguin or whatever or hummingbird. So so this is where someone that has no clue about SEO or about site architecture. They they say they tell the client, oh, there's nothing wrong because there's they're not getting any messages, and they don't know anything about how uh, their linking structure, how you know uh, what what you know some of the stuff that's in, that was done in the past, um, you know when Google sends out notices at, in in forums and things like that saying, hey, uh, this is the this is the latest update, um, Panda update. Here's what, how it's affecting you. They have no clue or they don't even they don't even. Like, like they don't even get the message because they're not involved with SEO. They think SEO is is bogus or that you know it can't be done. So what? So that type of person shuts themselves off from the messages from Google. 
because they're like, oh, whatever, I'll just use pay-per-click. And that's, you know, that, that costs you money. You know, uh, when, when you have someone that that's, uh, you know, uh, back, you know, uh, bass backwards and, and doesn't doesn't incorporate everything because a web designer has to incorporate search engine optimization guidelines. Otherwise, your site is doomed. And that's what we're finding with uh, one one site in particular. And we'll expose that later. So long story short, you know, um, be careful of who you get your advice from, you know, and make sure that uh, that whoever uh, you know, is using Google Webmaster Tools knows that it's not. It, it you know, Google isn't gonna isn't gonna tell them through Google Webmaster Tools that their site's in violation of you know Panda, Penguin, or Hummingbird, or whatever else comes. Okay, so um, that's it for now. I hope this helps.